Hey what's up guys so in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily create a plate pattern inside of Infinity Designer. Now the best thing about this method is that you have to create this pattern only once because towards the end of the video I'm going to share with you some tips and some tricks that if you change certain parameters you will be able to create different versions or different variations of the plate pattern depending upon your theme or your niche. So make sure that you watch the video till the end. Now here inside Affinity Designer I have already created a square document and this method works best with the square document so make sure that you have this document in the square shape instead of a rectangular shape. Now I'm going to start by using this pen tool and creating a diagonal line. So I'm going to start from this corner, press the shift key and then as soon as I'm at this corner I'm going to click here and uh, to make sure that I am at the corner I am going to sh shift uh, or move it away from the edges and then bring it close to the corner and as soon as it snaps I am going to leave it there. So at the top I have these snapping options checked so if you want to follow this tutorial make sure that these certain options are checked in your software. Now that I have a diagonal line I would uh, like to make it a little bit thicker so let's say just make it 8 points thicker and depending upon your uh, units of for your documents you might not have it in points or may you might have it in inches or something but make sure that it is thick enough to be visible and next thing i'm going to do is to i'm going to move it or scale it up a bit so that it goes beyond these corners so i'm going to press the alt key and the control key to make sure that I am scaling it on both sides actually on the both corners so once it is scaled according to my likeness the next thing I am going to do is to move it on this corner so by pressing the shift key and as soon as it is at this corner I can see the guidelines which means that it is at the perfect position then I am going to release it here the next thing I am going to do is just zoom in a little bit create a copy of this one and uh, move it slightly like that so that I have just a small gap between these lines maybe a little bit more slightly something like that next thing I'm going to do is to just color this one differently so that I know that it is not the same thing so I'm going to choose maybe purple or blue color it doesn't matter because we are going to just delete it in next few steps okay the next step is that i'm going to select this one again press ctrl j to copy it and then move it slightly like that while still pressing the shift key and make sure that the gap between these lines is approximately the same that's very important and the next step is that i'm going to press ctrl j a couple of times to create multiple copies of this one but one thing that is very important and that is that you need to create odd number of copies to create a seamless or repeating pattern. If you create an even number of copies, your pattern will not be seamless. So that is a very important thing to do. So I'm going to press Ctrl J a couple of times and uh, create multiple copies. And as soon as it goes beyond our, uh, you know, document, uh, you know, the other lower right corner. I'm going to leave it like that and then I'm going to count these uh, bars so that I know that these are multiple uh, these are odd number of copies so I'm just going to quickly do it and then skip to the next part just to make this tutorial short okay now that I have the odd number of copies what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this blue one that's the one that I created I'm going to select all of these and then make sure that the lower the last one that I have created it touches this corner now as you can see that the bounding box or has this square shape this outer boundary is in this shape and there is no way I can just scale it down and it snaps to that corner so in order to fix that issue what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate it deselect everything and then select everything again and then pressing the shift key rotate it again and now one once i just scale it down and as soon as it touches this corner i have these guides blue actually the red and the green which shows me that it is perfectly at this corner so i'm just going to leave it here 
the same thing I'm going to do to this one and as soon as it touches this corner I'm going to leave it here now if you do not want to count these lines what you can do is to just make sure that there is a line that is touching at this corner as well that is there is no gap between the line and this corner so if it is crossing this corner which means that you have the odd number of copies if it's not crossing which means that you have the even number of copies now that we have created these lines let's just select all of these and group them together i'm going to create a copy of that group so by pressing ctrl j and then move it slightly down or slightly diagonal on this other side so i'm going to select this one and i'm going to just move it slightly like that by pressing the shift key and make sure that the gap between these lines is approximately the same and I think that looks fine the next thing what I'm going to do is to rename these groups so the first one I'm going to rename it as V and the top one I'm going to rename it as H so why I have renamed it as V and H is because I want to put these in vertical and horizontal bars so V stands for vertical and H stands for horizontal and you will understand why I have chosen these instead of A or B or 1 or 2 so let's just color these uh, slightly different so either I can go inside this group and select all of these and then color it or I can simply select this group go into the appearance panel choose the this stroke option and select any color so maybe just select this one for blue and make it to be 8 points the same thing that we have already done and then I'm going to select this H group I'm going to choose a different color not the blue one so that I can differentiate it once I'm putting it uh, in the final shapes so let's say make it red and then choose this one to be 8 as well same to the ones that we have initially created okay now we do not need these at this moment so I'm just going to hide it create a square shape that is the perfect uh, size according to my document that is 1200 by 1200 and then I'm going to fill it with black color removing any kind of stroke so just fill it with black bring it behind these things and then just lock it the next thing that I'm going to do is create some kind of vertical or horizontal rectangle shapes or you can say bars so maybe something like that and let's just fill it with uh, maybe just for the theme of autumn let's just fill it with orange color I think that looks fine kind of orangish that looks fine and then I'm going to move it slightly into this location maybe make it a little bit smaller somewhat like that and then create a copy of this one and create a gap between these and then place it here the next thing I'm going to do is select both of these press ctrl j to copy them and then rotate them horizontally and then place it maybe somewhat at this location that looks fine all right the next thing that i'm going to do is to create another few more copies here and these are not going to be orange so slightly less thicker would be fine i think that looks fine and maybe you know place it at this location and then let's say just make it yellow because this pattern is based on the theme of autumn season or the fall season then I'm going to press ctrl J and create a horizontal version of that it's not really necessary that you create the horizontal vert and vertical versions of the same color but it makes the design more consistent and more like a plaid okay the next thing that I'm going to do is to create another version another vertical line but this time a little bit thinner compared to the yellow one and let's say just make it maybe white you know that looks fine so I'm going to place it uh, let's say just place it here and then press ctrl j to make a copy of it one and then maybe place it on this location I think that looks much better now it is already looking kind of like a plate thing but it's simple just rectangular shapes with solid color which we do not want we need some kind of details in this in this pattern and that's why we have already created these V and H groups okay now V stands for vertical which means that I'm going to create a copy of this group and place it inside each and every vertical bar that I've created so these two orange bars this yellow one and this white one 
I'm going to press Ctrl J to make a copy of this one and then I'm going to put it inside this vertical bar okay but before I do that I need to make sure that it is visible so make sure that it is visible and it is inside this vertical bar and as soon as it is inside it you will see that the effect appears in on our document then I'm going to select this one again press ctrl J to make a copy and place it inside the second vertical bar press ctrl J again to make a copy of this one and make it inside this yellow vertical bar and similarly I'm going to place it inside this white vertical bar next thing I'm going to do is select this edge group make it visible create a copy of this one and place it inside the horizontal bars all of these yellow the orange and the white one all right now that we have placed on all of these bars let's just close it and you can already see that we have certain details but we already we also have these colors of the bars appearing on it which we do not want so in order to make the colors appear on these lines these diagonal lines what we need to do is to apply some and the same colors that we have chosen for the bars on these lines and the easiest method uh, for that is that let's say I'm going to select this orange bar and then I'm going to right click and choose add to swatches and I'm going to choose this option from fill as global because we have the fill color we do not have any stock color and that is why I'm going to choose this option from fill as global and that is very important because we are going to I'm going to share with you some tips towards the end in which this thing this option is going to be very useful so I'm going to click here and it has created a new document palette and added it to the uh, our swatches next thing I'm going to select this yellow one right click it add to swatches and choose this option from fill as global and the last thing for this white one same thing from fill as global so now we have three colors orange yellow and um, white let's just close this panel for a bit so one thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these colors from these rectangle shapes or rectangle bars so I'm going to just quickly remove from each and every uh, this bar that I have created by removing the color it only removes it from the bar it does not affect the child or the one elements that are inside our group or inside that bar so you can see that we have these bars uh, appearing even though we are removing the color from the top rectangular shapes all right now that we have all the colors from the bars removed now you can see that we have some kind of uh, this plate style look or plate style pattern look and now we want to color these things these bars or these actually diagonal lines so this one was orange this one was also orange so i'm going to go inside it to choose that we uh, make sure that we have the stock color selected in the swatches at the top right here so if this hollow ring shape is at the top which means that the uh, stock color is selected but if we have this one at the top which means we have the fill color as selected which we do not want so i'm going to reselect this one at the top and make sure at the top and then i'm going to click this first one that is the orange shape orange swatch the same thing i'm going to do with this one i'm going to select it and make sure that i'm going to choose it this orange color similarly with this vertical ones i'm going to select this v group and change its color to orange same thing with this one select the v group change its color to orange now this one was yellow so i'm going to select it go inside the group and make sure that it's yellow the same thing with this one it should also be yellow and then i'm going to do the same thing with these white ones select that group make it white select that go inside this group select it and then make it white now you can see that we have this played style effect in which the lines are crossing each other and there is still gap between these lines so it is kind of giving you a beautiful look now the only thing left here is that just to export it and upload it on any you know print on one platform or uh, if you want you can apply it on a mockup so i'm just going to quickly export it file export choose the png option and then simply export it and then if you want to test that pattern what you need to do is you can either test it inside the same document or if you want you can create a new document doesn't matter which size it is and create any shape circle square rectangle whatever and then 
choose this tool called fill tool at the top from the type choose this option bitmap and select that png image that you just exported so i have selected it and as soon as i'm going to scale it down you can see that i have this beautiful played pattern created without any kind of seams without any kind of edges that appear and it has given me a really cool pattern and i can just scale it up i can also rotate it and create print files as i would like it it totally depends upon you okay now as we have reached towards the end of the video it's time to share with you some tips how you can create multiple versions or multiple variations of this pattern so for example if i do not like this one here at this point what i can do is i can simply move it on to a different location as well the only thing that i have to keep in mind is that it's not crossing this border it is inside that border and it is just you can say if i just place it here there is still gap some gap left here approximately you might have to zoom in a bit so approximately same gap towards both sides and you can create a different variation of this pattern let me just undo it a couple of times because i don't want to mess the original one okay that's how you can easily create it and you can simply same do the same thing with this one you can move it into a different location as well now if you want to create more lines or more horizontal or vertical bars you can select any of these you know click it uh, press ctrl j to copy it and then move it onto a different location let's say maybe i want to move it on this location and uh, i can simply make it a different variation of that as well and then if you I want to change this color i can simply do go inside it and make sure that it has different color maybe if i want to make it white or blue or anything that totally depends upon you you can easily do it let me just undo it a couple of times all right so that's how you can create multiple versions of it and multiple uh, variations of it even you can select this one and make sure that you can also increase its uh, width as well but for that what you need to do is to first make sure that at the top right you have this option lock children so if i click here and then i scale the width you can see that i can create a much thicker version of that or maybe thinner version of that it totally depends upon you how you want to see it so with just this option checked to lock children so that was creating multiple versions of this thing another thing that you can easily do is that if you like this pattern th this look but you want it for a different theme maybe you want it for christmas you want green red and uh, maybe let's say white so you are going to select only in the color in the swatches panel let's say i want to make this orange to be red and make this yellow to be let's say green and uh, like that and maybe make this white to be kind of like a blue to have that uh, christmas theme or something like that you can easily do it just by changing the colors in the swatches panel you can select uh, you can change all the colors which are related to these so guys that's how you can easily create a plate pattern inside affinity design and now if you have found this video to be helpful make sure that you like the video it will help me with the youtube algorithm and if you comment on this video it will encourage me to create more content like that and uh, hopefully i'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching